Happy Thursday, everyone. Um, as we can see, we are holding near the highs of uh, closing yesterday. Today's uh, Thursday. We're about quarter after eight Eastern right now, so a little over an hour before um, North American trading opens. Um, and we're holding at 42.77. Yesterday's uh, closing high, near closing high, was uh, 42.72, I believe. Um, so we're above that level and uh, trying to make a push higher. Um, I, my personal feeling is that the bulls will run today. Um, and it's time for patience if you have the guts for it. Um, you know, we purchased yesterday at a low of 42.20, um, which is uh, in this range here. Uh, we got as low as 42.08, so we missed that. Um, but 42.20 is, uh, is looking really, really good right now. Um, it looks like we'll open somewhere around this level, which on our 2x ETF um, from uh, Horizons, which you guys can check out uh, uh, here. Here's the bull ETF, um, the Beta Pro Crude Oil 2x. Uh, so basically, it, it just multiplies by a factor of two the percentage moves in oil. So if oil moves 1%, the ETF moves 2%. Um, there's a um, U.S. dollar equivalent, uh, UWTI, I think, is the ticker, um, and it's also a 2x. And similarly, there's a, a bear ETF that you guys can check out if you're trading in U.S. Uh, denominated um, accounts. But uh, yeah, so speaking of our purchase yesterday, it's looking very good. Uh, if we were to open around this level, it's easily two and a half to three percent. Uh, profit for us um, but my instinct is to let that ride and wait for European closing at around at uh, 1130 Eastern this morning uh, that's my definition of patience wait for Europe <laughs> um, we may go higher after Europe of course um, but I, I, I get the feeling that we're going to get a good bump leading into Europe um, and then we'll see what happens after that. Uh, the safe play, of course, is you know if you're in the money right now, take the profits, wait for a pullback, and repurchase. So, for example, if we were to open at you know these sorts of levels, 4270, 4280, um, there's a good chance that we pull back to you know 4250, 4240. Um, in which case, you know that's that's a nice repurchase range. Um, assuming that you believe what I believe and today is going to end in the in the green um, that's that's my sent that's my feeling that's my sentiment um, that being said I do believe that we are going to go down again um, we do need to in a way retest 42 uh, the question I guess for those of you who feel the same way as I do is how high do we go before we come back down um, that being said, of course, nothing's certain. Um, it's 50-50. We may not come back to 42 this month. Um, so that's why I'm not hedging my longs with short positions. Um, I don't want to get stuck with them, basically. You know, if, if my ultimate belief is that we're going up, then if that actually pans out and we start climbing back into the 44s, uh, 45s, 46s, then you know I don't want to get stuck with a, a short position down in you know the 42s and 43s, uh, and that's why I'm not purchasing shorts right now. Uh, basically, I just wait for uh, the dips and add to my long positions, um, waiting for that turnaround to come, which I think is either here or soon to be here. Um, you got to believe in something. It's 50-50, but you got to take pick a side. And I'm with the bulls right now, and I have been for a while, and I don't expect that to change anytime soon. Even if we go to you know 40, 38, I'm a bull. Um, I've got cash on the side, uh, as you can see from my uh, portfolio waiting. Uh, we're in for about uh, what 80. Book value eighty five thousand, cash fourteen thousand. Uh, so we still have cash on the side, uh, waiting to be used, uh, depending on you know if we go lower. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but you got to believe in something. 
Um, so yeah, so that's my plan. Um, for now, I'm going to be waiting for Europe, uh, assuming that we stay to stay around these levels. I'll be waiting for Europe at 11:30. Uh, if we end up climbing, uh, like I said, it's about 20 after 8 this morning right now on uh, on Thursday the 22nd. So if we end up managing to climb over the 43 mark before market opens then I may reevaluate and take profits on the table expecting a pullback um, in, that I would repurchase. But uh, at these levels, I think the smart strategic move is patience. So that's me. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. Use the comments down below on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca if you want to check out my uh, uh, trade charts and uh, past performance. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to stay tuned and I'll check in with you guys after the trading day um, before or in around 4 o'clock Eastern and uh, good luck to you. Cheers.